So we're here at the ARM booth here at ARM TechCon 2016 and uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Sandra Larrabee and I'm with Corporate Marketing at ARM based out of San Jose, California. And we are showcasing a, a demo here, concept to completion, all on ARM powered technology. And this is the second rev of Kiss and Tell. Uh, Kiss and Tell is an ARM powered shoe that allows one to reprogram or re-pattern their straps on the fly. So right now you're seeing here the French flag. And you can change to... And you can change on, a fly, on the fly to... Hugs and Kisses. All right. Or A Starry Night. Or Hearts. Nice. And all this is powered um, on an Arduino board. It's called a Maker 1000. And it's is got it inside? The, yeah, the Arduino board looks like this. And it's got an, M, an ARM M0 processor on it, as well as Wi-Fi enabled, which allows it to talk to the phone to change the patterns of the shoe. And this board is housed up here in the heel of the shoe. All right. And it's See. powered by a battery, which is down here in the footbed area. And how heavy is the shoe? Is it like a normal shoe or no? Actually, this is. It's a normal shoe. This is my uh, slightly larger than my own foot size. Um, however, it's a proto slash concept right now, so one would not be able to really walk around the show floor yet with it, but that may come in the future. And the other really cool thing about it is that um, it's, you can change out the heels. Eiffel Tower, a champagne glass. Whoa, do the heels have special powers? Um, not now. That's planned for the future. Sensors or something. Mm, you never know. You never know. So how does this? How was this made? Uh, what's so? What? So the cons, it was designed in the cloud on Tinkercad, and here is this is actually the end end result of the design. Tinkercad it was done on Tinkercad, is on, um, which is an Autodesk product, um, and it was done on a Chromebook. And on then, a Chromebook. Arm powered Chromebook. <laughs> This is a Chromebook, yeah, yeah. arm-powered Chromebook. Yeah. And then we did um, all of the circuitry design here in, on a Raspberry Pi. Which really? Is also um, arm-powered, yes. All the circuitry on the Raspberry Pi is called PCB New. No, it's uh, some app here. Uh, that's, that's actually the app that was used to create the circuitry. And then right. we actually sent it out to a professional house to make uh, a flexible board. And all, the, all these um, LEDs were hand soldered on. And so this actually is a small example of what is inside um, uh, the shoe strap here. Cool. And then after that, we, again, on Raspberry Pi, yeah. we used a program called NeoPixel, which is from Adafruit. And this is how we uh, programmed all of the different patterns that you recently saw on the shoe. Whoa. So that's really everything is armpowered. Armpowered, yes. And then ultimately, part of the pro part of the process was is that the shoe was printed, and we've got an example of an armpowered 3D printer here that could actually do the job. Um, the shoe itself, this one was not done on this. This came from our UK office, but um, it was 3D printed, and then it was painted using um, car paint, actually, that we put into an aerosol can and and spray painted it with car paint. Cool. Can we look over there? What's going on there? Yeah, this you know This is a what? micro bit uh, with the guitar that's going... I need to introduce my colleague here, Ali King. Hey. He is the expert on, on this micro bit project. So how do you play on this one? Uh, so this is a, uh, like a game device by the interns. Um, and the whole idea is it's the micro bits uh, being used to try to teach uh, something to uh, children. Uh, so the whole idea is like um, we've hooked up like simple like GPIO pins to sort of like crude uh, like electronic sort of kids electronics projects. So let's just show you the drums here. So like as you can see here, there's like a timer on the drums, and you have to be using light sensors to play the drums here. Uh, you'd be using like keyboard here to play the keyboards. It's just currently off for a second for some reason. Yeah. And like the same with the guitar, I'd be using an accelerometer to play the guitar. All right. Cool, that's some um, cool demos with the micro bit around here. Everything's on par. Okay, thank you. Great. Right.